Is your credit card debt holding you back from financial freedom? Is the weight of the monthly payments stacking up where you can't really handle it anymore? Can I help you? See, my name's Joe Moffitt with Master Life by Design, and today's video is how I stopped drowning in $40,000 credit card debt for the third time. So let's jump in. Here's the bottom line. Credit card companies, they want you to have to stack all this debt because they're charging you so much interest. Now, you gotta go look at your bill and look at how much are they charging? Because anywhere, it's coming anywhere from around 9.99%, which is really good, to 24. 0.99%, which is really bad, right? See, most credit card promotions actually get you in the door, but what you don't see is that if you don't pay off the full balance by the end of the promotional period, and they only have you pay the minimum ba uh, balance, and what that does is it bumps you back into that 24.99% interest all the way to the beginning. And so you see this large sum come back on. It's brilliant marketing, horrible for the individual, okay? So this is what happened to me. And so I wanna be able to give you my strategy on how I got out of the $40,000 credit card debt for the third time, but it took some time. So here it is, this is what you do. You may have one, two, three, four, maybe even five credit cards. What you wanna do, and again, this isn't financial advice, this is just something I did that I'm recommending for you, you don't have to take it, but I'm not liable for it. But what I did was, I went and found a credit card that I could transfer my balances to, from all these other credit cards to this one, and what I actually looked for is a promotion where it had anywhere from zero to 24 months, uh, no interest. Okay, no interest for that time frame, And I found ones, depending on your credit score too, it depends, but I got them for about 24 months. What that did was it allowed me to transfer all of that money, all that debt that I had on multiple credit cards on the one to have one payment. Now, many credit card companies, they do this and they charge you a 3% balance transfer fee. What I did was I looked and searched for the credit cards that I could apply for that had a 0% balance transfer fee. So basically, I got to move my money for free and pay zero interest on it when I was paying 24.99%, and I was able to have a lower monthly payment, and even though I paid the minimum amount for the most part, I did that for 24 months, and then when I was about to wrap up to 24 months, what I did from there was I actually went and did it again. I did it for another 24 months. So now I had four years to pay off that credit card debt. But here's the thing, you might be saying, Joe, why wouldn't you pay that credit card debt off rather quickly? And the reason was because I took it out over four years, but my minimum payment was a lot smaller than when I had all that interest. What did I do with that extra money? Instead of go spending it, what I actually did is I went and started to invest it. So even if I got a 5% return, which is really easy to do, but even if I got a 5% return, I was paying 0% interest, so I was making 5% on my money. And when you do that for years, over, years on end, all of a sudden you start that compounding effect. Now, here's the challenge. What got me in the credit card debt the third time of $40,000? It was my belief systems. If you're gonna take notes, please write this down. Your beliefs control your actions and your actions dictate your destiny, right? It's like those habits that you do daily, whether if you go to the gym every day, you're gonna look different than if you don't go to the gym every day. The habits make a difference, right? And so you gotta change your belief system. For me, I had a belief that I held every time I went to the mall and I said it to myself, I swiped the card and said, I'll pay for it later. And that belief, thinking I can pay for it later, it was true, it just took many years to do. That's what got me into debt. Instead, I shifted my belief system to, am I investing or am I spending? And right now, when I go to swipe that credit card at the mall, I realize I was spending. It was a want, not a need. And so what I started to do differently was, and I will give you a quick example. Say my monthly payment before was $1,000 a month. 
And when I did the balance transfer, it was actually $400 a month. We're just using hypothetical numbers, so don't judge me here, okay? I would take that $600 a month difference and I would start investing it. I would invest it in me, I would invest it in coaching, I would invest it in books, I would invest it in events, and I would invest it in the stock market and other avenues that would pay me a return, okay? And so I did that for years. I started developing skill sets that helped me become a master at what I did in the coaching world, which allowed me to help more people, demand more money for my coaching, and to be able to get out of debt quicker, but also invest more money and get a higher percentage return. So here's what happened. When I was younger, what I did is I would go to the mall and I'd buy $200 pair of jeans, $100 pair of shirts, and I'd buy multiple of them. And I had my belief system, I'd swipe the card and say, I pay for it later. The problem was in the moment, I didn't see how much debt I was racking up every time I went out, every time I bought something. And when the credit card bill came in at the end of the month, it was shocking. It was like, I remember one time I opened it up and my heart sank to see how much money I was in debt and then to see the payment that I was paying, it seemed like it was impossible to get out of, right? And so what I did was I applied this strategy, I shifted my belief system, and yes, it took some time to pay off all that debt, but I'll tell you what, when I did, I had plastic surgery. And you might say, Joe, what is plastic surgery? Well, check out this video I'm about to share, and this is probably over 10 years ago when I did plastic, when I got plastic surgery. And so I want you guys to see, it's an old video, quality sinks, but pay attention, check it out. Hey everyone, Joe Moffa here. I told many of you guys that I was gonna do some plastic surgery last week. I got a little bit caught on the weather, and uh, well, many of you kept texting me and asking me, hey, what are you getting done? What kind of plastic surgery are you having? You know, it was really some awesome responses from some of you, but uh, what I'm here to tell you about with plastic surgery today is not what you're thinking. It's more on the financial side with some credit cards. And what's crazy is about 15 months ago, I was about mm, $28,000, $30,000 in debt due to credit cards. Now, so many people I know, they live off of credit cards. They don't know how to pay cash as they go. I was a victim of that for so long. And so what I wanna do is do a little bit of plastic surgery where I cut these bad boys up and I never have to rely on them again and I only go through cash. So we're gonna do a little bit of plastic surgery for all of you guys. First credit card never to be used ever again. Second credit card never to be used again. By the way, they're like medical scissors, which is really awesome. Don't know where I got them, but they do the job. They cut these credit cards up. So, with that being said, plastic surgery is complete. For years, I only had one credit card with a low amount on it, and what that did is it taught me discipline until I felt like I had control over that card. And when I did, then I started to shift. I had more credit available to me. I actually applied for more credit. Why? Because I was disciplined this time. I wanted it open so that if I ever needed it in case of an emergency, I would. And now what I like to do is I like to put everything on my credit card. However, by 31st or the 30th of every month, I make sure that bill is paid entirely and in full. And the only reason why I do that is because I use a credit card to get points. When I put everything on it, I get so many points. And all of a sudden, I can use those points for airline tickets. And so we're going to Maui as a family and we're bringing our nanny. Guess what? A lot of those points throughout the year are paying for our plane tickets. And I'll tell you, paying for five plane tickets, it's pretty, it's a good pretty penny, right? And we get to go on trips like that because I was disciplined with my credit card because I look to invest, not spend. And I'll tell you, that strategy I shared with you helped me get out of $40,000 credit card debt, but it also taught me a lesson on investing at the same time. And so I was able to get out over an extended period of time. I just kept pushing it out and my money started to grow. And at one point, the payment or the total amount of debt started going down where my investments started going up and I could totally squash it. And I did that after about four years. If you don't change your belief system, you will still find yourself in debt multiple times just like I did. 
So if you're not disciplined with your credit cards, please go lock them in a safe, cut them up, have one in case of an emergency. But you have to shift your belief systems, you have to learn discipline with your money, and when you do, when you're able to get out using that strategy, and when you're investing, taking your money to invest, that's when you can accelerate the financial freedom. It would shock you how many people I see that live off of credit cards, and they just keep going in debt, and they keep going in debt, and then guess what? They have to declare bankruptcy, that hurts their credit score for seven years, and all of a sudden, it has an impact on their lifestyle. So don't be that person, okay? If you need help, we have a ton of coaches here at Master Life by Design that can help you be disciplined and work on your belief systems and give you strategies to help you break free from your debt so that you can get on the path of financial freedom. And that's when life becomes more fun, that's when life becomes more abundant, is when that weight of debt is not holding you down. Now, I must say this, there is good debt and there is bad debt and credit card debt is bad debt unless you're getting a higher return on your investment than you are on the payment or the interest pay you're paying on a monthly basis on that. Since most credit cards are usually around 24.99%, you wanna make sure you're probably making around 30% on your investments if you're gonna put your money there. However, that's a pretty darn good investment return and it's out there. I've been involved in some of them. However, you may want to start paying that debt off, but also using that strategy. So if you found value in this video, go ahead and like it, give it that thumbs up, comment below, and most importantly, subscribe and turn on that notification bell so that you can get more videos on how to create financial freedom through passive investments and mindset here on our channel at Master Life by Design. My name is Joe Moffitt. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. See ya.